Ross Embleton's caretaker stint couldn't have got off to a worse start. A limp home defeat to Scunthorpe last week stretched their winless run in League Two to four matches. Londoners need the tide to turn. But it won't be easy against promotion chasing Forest Green. Mark Cooper's men were knocked off the top of League Two last week, so expect a backlash from Rovers. Can Embleton get the better of Cooper in his second match in charge? Joint best away record in League Two alongside Swindon. Five wins on their travels this season. And this is Route One stuff. And it's dangerous from Forest Green. The finish lacking in the end, but Aaron Collins looking lively. Carl Winchester has been dispossessed. Norrie winding one up, and they've hit the post. It's Dale Gorman off the base of the post for Lake Norian. They could have done with that going in. With confidence levels at an all-time low at the Brea Group Stadium. We're mightily close here. Carl Winchester dispossessed. We don't see that in League Two very often. And Gorman was unlucky. It's the first ever meeting in the Football League between these two sides. forward lovely football from the visitors and it's spilled and turned in for Forest Green Rovers it's Ebu Adams with the goal after 14 minutes and the visitors are in front well, the ex Norwich City youth player has done the damage it's a poacher's finish from Adams he arrived from Ebb's fleet in the summer he didn't score at all for them last season he was on hand here. It's a lovely move from Mark Cooper's men. Adams involved right from the start. Good one-touch football. The initial shot is saved. Dean Brill not brilliant from him. And Adams gleefully accepting. And Ross Embleton is being sent to the stands. He succeeded Carl Fletcher lasted just 29 days and Embleton has not lasted long in this game there's Adams Matt Stevens who's looked dangerous so far Stevens shot is blocked and there's Adams and it's turned in for Forest Green again and it's Ebu Adams again just one league goal all season for Rovers prior to today. He's trebled his League Two accounts this afternoon. His third of the season as Forrest Green in charge. And Cooper's men not afraid to go Route One when they have to. Matt Stevens. It's a lovely back heel. Joseph Mills, the captain. It's drilled across the header from right and then a collision with the goalkeeper and Dean Brill certainly hasn't had it all his own way today he's been in the walls Adams went up alongside him and the two shake hands which is nice to see first clear looked electric early on in this game and they're still looking top notch and they've just scored their third of the afternoon. Matt Stevens has deserved a goal and he's found it just before half time. The build up play again is superb. It's a great cross and Stevens has got in on the act. Third of the season. Do they come back from here? They've been completely outplayed in this first half. And some nice ditch defending from Forest Green there. Three nil down, Orient at home 
to one of the promotion chasers. It is looking bleak at the moment. Ross Embleton in the stands as well, remember. And they finally have a decision going their way. And the ironic cheers. That's a good free kick and the header is good as well. It's Matt Harold. Well, Orion have got a foothold now in this second half. It's a second goal of the season for Matt Harold. And it's a timely goal as well. Superb delivery from Maguire Drew, who's made a difference since coming on. And Harold powers in the header for Orient. There's the angle. It's still the angle. Shepherded by Matt Mills. Oh, and Matt Mills and Angle, a bit of a coming together. Although I don't think Chris Sarginson is interested whatsoever. And not going to get a penalty. And it looked pretty innocent, but the elbow was raised from Mills. I have seen them given. Just two home wins all season in nine attempts. And it's Cheltenham and Walsall. And at least putting up a fight for you in this second half. There's Angle. Tenacious work from him and a good delivery. And it's somehow been bundled in, and Orient are right back in this game now. It's an opportunist goal from Maguire Drew, and he's deserved it for his second half cameo. The industry is done from Lee Angle down the left. It's not a clean finish by any means from Maguire Drew, but it's his fourth of the season. they pinch a point it would be an unlikely point Forest Green struggling to clear it here the promotion chasers are struggling to deal with this and it's against the bar for Leighton Orient oh what drama in East London there's Winchester such a terrific footballer and now Matt Stevens, he needs support. It's still Stevens, and it's turned in for 4 2. And it's game over. Junior Mondal for Forest Green, and the three points are in the bag for the visitors. It's been a gallant effort from Leighton Orient, but they are now heading for another League Two defeat. Terrific stuff from Stevens, who deservedly has one goal today. Junior Mondau, what a finish that is. Forest Green are going to stay in the automatic promotion places. 34 goals conceded now for Leighton Orient. That is more than any other side in League Two. They are in real trouble. One point from five league games for the hosts now. It's another defeat for Embleton and Orient. Forest Green Rovers, a sixth away win of the league season. It is Leighton Orient 2, Forest Green Rovers 4.